Welcome to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show, Healing Miracles. She's a world-renowned medical intuitive, trance channel, psychic surgeon, and spiritual teacher. Relax and breathe in. You are now entering the fifth dimension. When calling, please do not mention any personal medical details or conditions. Kimberly will use her medical mediumship abilities to remotely detect your medical situation. Please call in now at 818-850-7784. That's 818-850-7784. Hi, welcome to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. I'm your host, Kimberly Meredith. And I'm so blessed to be here tonight with everybody that's listening in. And um, welcome to the fifth dimension. This is truly an amazing experience to be here tonight with a special guest, Maria Moreno. Um, And our topic tonight is near-death experiences. And many of you that are listening in, I think, may know that I'm a medical intuitive and hands-on healer, and that just a few years ago, I had a near-death experience. And often people that come out to my healing events and to my healing sessions experience and witness other people coming into my events that often had near-death experiences. So we're going to come back to Maria, and we're going to hear her experience about her NDE that she had. And um, Maria's amazing um, experience and how we met, and I'm excited about this evening tonight, so please um, stay with us. And we're also going to be taking questions and answers and people calling in tonight um, and talking about maybe their NDEs, and we're going to have prayer requests and praying. So this is truly an exciting evening tonight. And tonight also, just to let you know that we are on Spreaker and tune in and Stitcher and iHeartRadio nationwide. And this is um, really exciting for the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show right now that this has happened to us. And um, I'm really blessed to have Gary Garver as the producer of this show. So amen for that. Rock on. Um, also, um, to start off the show tonight, uh, thank you for Facebook people for watching. Hi out there. Um, uh, I want to talk a little bit about what a near-death experience is. So often people hear the word NDE, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit right now what that is. Um, So some people say, you know, Kimberly, um, I've had a near-death experience, um, and I'll blink, yes, you did, (laughs) you know. And some people come to me, and I scan them, and I'll say, you know, I think you've had an NDE, and they'll say, I did? And and I'll go, yeah, and my eyes will blink, you know, how many years back, and they'll say, wow, I did fall off, you know, um, my 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 swing when I was a kid, and I, I got hit in the back of the head, and they'll say, how did you know I, that happened to me? Um, because after my NDE, um, I, I had become a full-blown medium, which, um, and a medical intuitive, and with that, my eyes blink in codes, and I can tell when people have had different experiences. So um, many people walking around have had an NDE and they don't even know it, which is amazing, right? So let me read to you a couple things about a near-death experience. Today is a fascinating topic, near-death experiences. Some people call it an NDE. Under normal consciousness, it's located in the same area as your physical body. An NDE near-death experience is an out-of-body experience experience and it's a social consciousness to part of our body it's when we are leaving when we leave our body sometimes we're not even knowing that this is happening to us we can be as early as maybe two one years old or we could be born even come in as out of body meaning at birth we could be an nde isn't that wild what do you think of that So it can happen during a severe illness, a trauma. It can happen one, two, three times. Some people have multiple NDEs. Um, I don't know if you know of a Daniel Brinkley. He's had three NDEs. He was hit by a bolt of lightning. He has a book out about his NDE. Um, Many people have experiences far more common than people even realize. 
They experience often profoundly spiritual enlightenments after their NDE. They have psychic phenomenons happen to them. Hindus, Christians, Jewish, Muslims even experience NDEs. This is something beyond a religious experience in NDE. Sometimes people have experienced similarities after their NDEs. They have unique elements of beyond a spiritual hoovering over their body feeling when the NDE is happening. They see actual, an, 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 like for me, I saw angels above my body. And I saw two dimensional angelic realms happening to me, which was amazing for me. Um, They may even see medical uh, personnel performing procedures on them and attempting to save their lives. That's what happened to me at the same time. Like me, I was laying in the hospital and I, I, I saw my body floating above me and I saw nurses trying to save me at the same time. They may encounter other beings, including loved ones who already have died. They may even encounter the energy of the Holy One, which is God. They are often even given a choice whether to return to earth or they may be told it's not their time to die and they still have an important work to do on earth. They may even experience overcome weight, which profound, profound long uh, transformational experiences with the spiritual realm of angels. They often lose their fear of death. I have no fear of death at all. And I can say before my near NDE, I did have the fear of death. And I have no fear of death now. Cur- current scientific studies estimate up to 20% of critical ill people experience an NDE. In 1992, Gallup poll revealed that 13 million Americans, over 5% of nation's populations, have experienced an NDE. That works out to 3 million near-death experiences worldwide. Every day, over 700 Americans have a near-death experience. That over 16,000 near-death experiences worldwide every day. Rock on. (laughs) Approximately 10% of the world's population report having at least one out-of-body experience during their lifetime. That's 763 million leaving their bodies. Wow, we all need to uh, look at that. This is a phenomenon. This is clearly affecting a large number of people worldwide. More importantly, the phenomenon reveals something fundamental about the nature of who we are as people and souls on this planet. So, I'm wondering, um, wow, about the consciousness of the other consciousness of the NDEs. Hmm. No wonder we're sitting next to each other. Yes. It's like an NDE soulmate situation here. Okay. We are souls momentarily inhabiting these mobile homes of flesh we call bodies. Our true nature is energetic. We are energy. Our internal soul consciousness is what survives death and what really matters. Even matter itself is really just disguised energy as revealed. Einstein's famous E equals MC squared equation. In fact, if your body were converted into energy, the energy from your body alone could power all of the energy needs of the entire United States for the next 30 years, including every home, factory, and vehicle. So there's an incredible amount of energy stored within the relatively small amount of space that your body occupies. I hope you understand that if you're listening. And when we have an out-of-body experience or near-death experience and leave our bodies, we see that our energetic soul consciousness is separate from your body. Now, my eyes are blinking yes, 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 because I can truly experience that being an NDE. Being an NDE is unbelievable. Not only am I an NDE, I experience being in my body more than I experienced when I was out of my body before the accident. Now I feel more in my body being an NDE. I don't know if you understand that, but it's truly miraculous. We become more aware of who we are and what we are really. I've had two near-death experiences myself. They completely changed my life, and I can tell you a little bit more about that. But I really want to listen more about Maria tonight. My guest tonight also had a near-death experience, and she is going to tell you more about that when we come back. Thank you for being with me on the Medical Tour of Miracle Show on kcaradio.com. We'll be right back. Thank you, and God bless you. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Kimberly Meredith, host of the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. Please join me at the 2019 Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles at the LAX Hilton on February 22nd through the 25th, where I'll be featured as the keynote speaker. I'll be leading multiple exclusive workshops and lectures. My Saturday free lecture is called Receiving the Miraculous Healings. On Sunday, I have a special keynote lecture with live music called Healing in the God Dimension. I'll then be speaking on a special near-death experience panel. Come to my Monday post-conference to receive your DNA activation. I'll be giving channel teachings about many important topics, including how to protect yourself in a 3D world and how to elevate into the fifth dimensional consciousness where healing occurs and where we can live our best lives and achieve peace on earth. Be sure to visit my booth for special raffles and giveaways. For more information and to purchase tickets, please visit thehealingtrilogy.com. You can also purchase tickets at ConsciousLifeExpo.com. I look forward to seeing you at the 2019 Los Angeles Conscious Life Expo. God bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third dimensional pain, worry, and fear, and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness, where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD, and Google will connect you. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed through the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com to learn more about my process and my services. My office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At the Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. Bless you. This is Kimberly Meredith, host of the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. I'm a medical intuitive spiritual teacher. Please join me at my ongoing spiritual service at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Santa Monica, California. Upcoming services are at 2 p.m. on Saturday, December 15th, Saturday, January 26th, and Saturday, March 9th. I'm going to give channeled spiritual teachings about raising your consciousness. Come join us for miracle healings, medical mediumship scans, and laying on of hands. Serving together, we can heal people through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's going to be amazing simply by witnessing and helping others to heal. You too can be healed. And we will also have live music by special guest artists. For more information and tickets, log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. To purchase live stream tickets, visit KimberlyMeredithLive.com. Come join us as we celebrate the glory of God. Where are my glasses? Hi, welcome back to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. Um, sorry for the giggliness. It's the Buddha coming through. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, so we are welcoming Maria. Maria. Hi, I'm Maria Sonia Moreno. Nice to meet you. Hi, everyone. Maria, 
Please tell us how we met. So Kimberly and I met at in Venice Beach. She was having a workshop on hands-on healing. And I actually got an email from uh, a friend of mine. And um, it seemed to come at a perfect timing because I feel like Spirit had called me um, to just get up and go. And I live in San Diego, so I went out and I went to this workshop. And I actually um, had the opportunity uh, to get picked by the angels um, during the healing um, for for me to receive healing from a crowd of about 30 to 40 people. There was a lot of us. Um, I can say that when Kimberly came near me, she had this energy, this light that is something I've never felt before. It was almost like God was standing before me. I wanted to cry. I wanted to just bask in that lightness and love and almost felt like God was embracing and hugging me and saying, it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. So they put me on a table and she performed her uh, intuitive medical healing, which she does by blinking in the eyes. And she was spot on with the injury in my spine. And so I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I actually was in a uh, my third near-death experience on November 30th, 2015. I was on the freeway traveling. I was rear-ended by a driver who uh, fell asleep at the wheel. It was a hit and run. Uh, come to find out the driver was a driving instructor. Uh, the impact was so hard that my body was ejected from the seat. Um, I suffered uh, fractures, T4, 5, 6 uh, area in my spine, um, which uh, pretty much gave me paralysis, uh, and spinal cord injury is, is the diagnosis there. But I can remember at the time of the accident, um, I wasn't here. I mean, I was like in between worlds, and I saw the... Uh, you know, the medical people performing around me, and all I can remember is stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. Um, when I get to the hospital, uh, they're fighting to put me down by giving me, you know, uh, drugs to sedate me. My body wasn't taking it. And to be honest, I don't remember anything between November 30th to December 2nd because that's when I actually woke up in ICU and kind of struggled for seven days there, fighting in and out, in and out, just having these experiences. Um, but I did want to go back to the healing because when she laid those hands on me, everyone participated. My legs were literally vibrating about an inch off this table, and you can feel the energy was so profound just in my body. Um, and it was the most amazing feeling. I literally did not even feel like I was down in this 3, 3D world. I felt like I was obviously in 5D or, you know, somewhere else. And, and you can feel the angels. You can feel, you know, it's so hard to explain. Um, and so two weeks after that, after this uh, meeting Kimberly, I ended up going to see my surgeon for a checkup. And so I go to see him, and uh, he did the x-rays on me and was, like, blown away. Wow, what did you do? What happened? Because the rods that I placed in your spine, which I have two big rods, and um, there's about six, maybe I want to say, like, 14 screws back there holding it all together, um, and they fused my spine. Um, those are, he's, you know, pretty much what he said is, we're ready to take those out. Your bone has completely healed. What happened? You know, well, and this is amazing. So that's where I'm at now. And, and I'm here to give my testimony that um, this, this woman here is the real deal. And, and, and I believe that spirit put us together. And, and I'm so grateful and, uh, to have received this, this healing from her because now I can take 30 steps. Um, which I could never do before. Um, I'm standing now, and my progression, you guys, has gone up, you know, uphill. Um, I did hit a plateau somewhere during my two years of recovery, but after having this healing, it's just going up, up, and up. And the more, the more I share my story, the more faith I have, 
um, physically, my body is showing the results. So, Amen. Mm -hmm. I will be out of this chair soon. <laughs> Amen. Yes, you will. Um, praise, praise you for coming out and speaking about your near-death experience and your your healing that took place that day. Um, that I was over at Rama and Rama Institute in Venice uh, Beach. Um, and I do remember that day significantly. And as you're speaking about that day, Maria, I, I'm getting chills through my body. Um, and, you know, I, I see you sometimes on Facebook and I'm watching you in your physical therapy and I get chills and, and, and tears listening to your story. And because I think a lot of people um, may be listening to the story right now and maybe going through something where they're bedridden or in a wheelchair. And I experienced many months in a wheelchair and, and many months at Cedar sinai where they told me you would never walk again, Kimberly, never hold your head up again. And knowing that I couldn't take steps and walk and knowing the feeling that I could end up back in a chair again at any moment right now. Um, and knowing, I truly know that this is absolutely you are going to be 100% recovered. They're blinking over and over again. Amen, amen, amen. Praise Jesus. You, yes. And that when I was drawn to you that day and I saw you and the room was full of people, I could have picked anybody. Okay. They were just directly going to you and saying, there's, n there's no obstacle to her healing. Amen. Amen. There's no obstacle that cannot, there's nothing that cannot be healed with a full faith of you believing that you can be healed. Yes. Yeah, you can be absolutely yes. healed. 100%. And when they, mm -hmm. the, the, the group lifted you out of the chair yes. and put you onto the table, and we had, and that day, I was not feeling my best. Mm -hmm. I was weak that day. Mm -hmm. And I had the help of, I think, four or five other people. Yes. And I said, you know, not only am I going to have you. I took on many other people yes. that day, all in tables across mm -hmm. the room. And we all gathered and laid hands on multiple people that day. Yes, I remember. And it was miraculous. Everyone, um, I remember the lady that had um, a lump somewhere, you know, a type of tumor. And it was instantaneously going down, you know. And it was just and an old man and that an I old found man prostate cancer in with him. prostate cancer. Um, so many stories. And you had something on your neck too. I yes, think. I had some type of attachment. You know this dark energy, and, <laughs> and you cleared that right away. And I, you know, it was literally <laughs> gone when I, after we were done. I was like, the lump is literally gone, and not just that physically, but I felt amazing. Words cannot express how amazing I felt. Yes, and then I have to say, when I was done with that group class, I felt amazing. <laughs> I was actually had an amazing amount of energy from the Holy Spirit. So we're going to be right back with more amazing um, blessings and taking some some calls um, from you. And we're at 818-850-87784. Thank you for listening to this amazing Maria Moreno. Beautiful. This is Kimberly Meredith, host of the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. I'm a medical intuitive spiritual teacher. Please join me at my ongoing spiritual service at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Santa Monica, California. Upcoming services are at 2 p.m. on Saturday, December 15th, Saturday, January 26th, and Saturday, March 9th. I'm going to give channeled spiritual teachings about raising your consciousness. Come join us for miracle healings, medical mediumship scans, and laying on of hands. Serving together, we can heal people through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's going to be amazing simply by witnessing and helping others to heal. You too can be healed. And we will also have live music by special guest artists. For more information and tickets, log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. To purchase live stream tickets, visit KimberlyMeredithLive.com. Come join us as we celebrate the glory of God. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed through the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com 
To learn more about my process and my services, my office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At the Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. Bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third dimensional pain, worry, and fear, and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness, where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD and Google will connect you. Hi, I'm Kimberly Meredith, host of the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. Please join me at the 2019 Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles at the LAX Hilton on February 22nd through the 25th where I'll be featured as the keynote speaker. I'll be leading multiple exclusive workshops and lectures. My Saturday free lecture is called Receiving the Miraculous Healings. On Sunday, I have a special keynote lecture with live music called Healing in the God Dimension. I'll then be speaking on a special near-death experience panel. Come to my Monday post-conference to receive your DNA activation. I'll be giving channel teachings about many important topics, including how to protect yourself in a 3D world and how to elevate into the fifth dimensional consciousness where healing occurs and where we can live our best lives and achieve peace on earth. Be sure to visit my booth for special raffles and giveaways. For more information and to purchase tickets, please visit thehealingtrilogy.com. You can also purchase tickets at ConsciousLifeExpo.com. I'll look forward to seeing you at the 2019 Los Angeles Conscious Life Expo. God bless you. Welcome back to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. And we are ready to take some phone calls, some prayers. Thank you. Hi, can I help Hi, you? Kimberly. Hi, what is your name? Hi, my name is Julie, and I'm here with my mom, Nancy. I was also at your workshop at Rama that day. Hi, great. I love that you were. Hi, and I experienced, you know, I wasn't on the table, but you performed so many miracles, and everyone I see talks about it all the time and goes back to see you. Oh, thank you. Mom, my mom is 88, and um, she has not been feeling great, and I said, let's call Kimberly and see if she can do some work with you. Oh, great. And would you like us to say a prayer for you? Would you like us to do an energy healing prayer for you right now on the radio? Sure. Okay. And I'd love to come see you as well. Good. You can go on to thehealingtrilogy.com, and there you can um, you know, make an appointment with us and come in for a session. We're also at January 26th we're at the Unitarian Universalist Church. We'll be doing a shatipatan, everybody, and a healing We're having a streaming offer right now for everybody. We're giving free streaming tickets away um, over at KimberlyMeritsLive.com. This is for half a year right now. We are going to be at the Unitarian Universalist Church once a month doing healing. Food for everyone. Everything is being sponsored by me, TheHealingTrilogy.com, to invoke the consciousness of the Holy Spirit, God. And this is laying on hands and healing for the whole community of Santa Monica, 
Los Angeles, California, everybody, and for the whole entire country, live streaming free from me. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You're so, amazing. Thank you. Perform miracles at Rama, and my mom could use some miracles. Yes. Thank you. So, out of pain, and would love for you to do a prayer or send some energy and okay. see if we can get her pain. Okay, so let's say some prayers for a lot of people out there right now. Let's call in and invoke the Holy Spirit, the divine love for everybody right now. And Maria's here, and I'm here, and we're all here for people. And some people were saying the live stream is not working, but I'm replying and seeing out there that people are saying it is working. So I'm just saying right now to people, it is working. And we're going to invoke the power of the Holy Spirit right now for people. And let's say, Hail Mary. Because I love calling in the Mother Mary, the Jewish beautiful Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us now. Pray for us now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us now. I'm in the fifth dimension. I love being in the fifth dimension. I'm invoking the spirit of the fifth dimension through my body, in my body. Everything in the fifth dimension is beautiful and wonderful. I feel at peace being in this beautiful, loving, fifth dimensional energy. Nothing is in a negative state of energy when I'm in the fifth dimension. I'm invoking this beautiful love, God, spirituality in my body right now. <sighs> Breathing this loving energy through my body, I am completely healed to the loving grace of God in the fifth dimensional miracles. Through this, I know I am healed. Amen. Satnam. Thank you for calling in. Amen. And if somebody else would like to call in, we are ready for that. You got one. Go. Okay, let's go. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice. Hello. You're on. Hello. You're on the air. Hi. Hello. Hi, Kimberly. You're still on with Julie from Rama. Okay, Julie, if you hang up, the next person can come on. Thank you, sweetheart. Got it, honey. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. Tell the Holy Spirit to pick up the phone for me. Hi. Thank you for calling in the show. Hello. Hi. And what is your name, please? Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. This is Shannon. Hi. Are you you Sandy? No, this is Shannon. I'm calling as a prayer. Hi, Shannon. You're here with me and Maria. Maria, do you want to do the prayer? Sure. Okay. Go ahead, Maria. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Do you need a prayer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, creator of love and light, we send healing to Shannon and all those out there. Yes. Um, we are in the fifth dimension. This is a dimension where we are always full of love and we are safe and we are healed and we are full of light. And I pray that whatever it is that you are encountering, that you just let spirit come in and just clear that all away uh, with all of its love and all of its light for you. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Holy, 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 holy. Amen, amen, amen for you. Moving any negative third dimensional energy away from your body now. And let's say that right now. Yes. I release any negative energy around me, around me, away from me, now. Let's now. say it, everybody out there. Yes. Any negative energy around my space, leave me out of my body, out of this room, and out of the universe, universe. now. now. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. I am healed. I am love and I am light. And I am standing and I am walking in the beautiful energy and the presence of the Holy One. I bow down to the loving energy of God. Amen. I am in the fifth dimension. And I love being in the fifth dimension. I agree. 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's a it's a place of miracles. Yes, it really is. Yes, Jesus did his miracles in the fifth dimension. Many ascending masters did their miracles in the fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. Thank you for calling in. And rub your hands together really hot, everybody mm -hmm. at home, Just invoking like the spirit of God through your body, mm -hmm. putting it around your throat chakra mm -hmm. and swallowing. Mm. A lot comes out of the throat chakra. A lot goes around the throat. And we want to make sure your throat and your nodes around your throat stay nice and healthy and clean and clear. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, if anybody wants to call in, thank you for calling, Shannon. You got another call. Okay, let's take another call. Let's take those beautiful prayer requests. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, hi, Kimberly. It's JJ. Uh, we just had an appointment last week. I don't know if you remember. I do remember. Hi, okay. JJ. Hi. God bless you. Thank you. I um, God bless you too. Uh, I have I have a healing request uh, for now. I caught I caught a cold. It seems yesterday. Okay. And it's just Who's putting that? a hamper on everything. Okay. Well, we can. Me and Maria are here for you. Mm -hmm. We're here to pray on you. We're powerful prayer healer <laughs> and DE girls, so we yeah, can help please. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's say a prayer. You accept. I accept fully. Okay, let's say, I accept the Holy Spirit. I accept the Holy Spirit. And all of us at home, if you want to say it, um, the Holy Spirit, to me, I'm more leaning towards the Jewish faith, which the Holy Spirit is one with God, and I am fully in love with that beautiful spirit, the energy of spirituality. Is, is that okay with you? Absolutely. Okay, great. So let's say, I accept the Holy Spirit. I accept the Holy, accept Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And through accepting the Holy Spirit. And through accepting the Holy Spirit. I am completely healed. Amen. I am completely healed. Amen. 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 I am love. I am love. And I am light. And I am light. Good. And breathe in and out, JJ. Breathe in the beautiful energy of light, which is you are a reflection of God. <sighs> yes, breathe. Breathing is important when you Yeah, are... breathe it in, JJ. Breathe in the mm -hmm. love of God through your body. Mm -hmm. I don't hear you breathing, JJ. Breathe. Oh. Good. Good. And say, I am the light. I am the light. Good. I am the light. I am the light. Good. Keep breathing in. I am the light. I am the light. Good. I am the light. I am the light. I am the light. I am the light. Therefore, I am healed. God wants me healed. I am a child of God. Amen. 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 Good. Amen. Good. Amen. Okay, good. Okay, you rocked it, JJ. I love <laughs> you, JJ. Good. I'll mm -hmm. see you soon. And we'll be right back with the Medical to the Miracle Show. Thank you. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed to the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com to learn more about my process and my services. My office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At The Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. Bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. 
Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third dimensional pain, worry, and fear and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness, where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD and Google will connect you. This is Kimberly Meredith, host of the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. I'm a medical intuitive spiritual teacher. Please join me at my ongoing spiritual service at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Santa Monica, California. Upcoming services are at 2 p.m. on Saturday, December 15th, Saturday, January 26th, and Saturday, March 9th. I'm going to give channeled spiritual teachings about raising your consciousness. Come join us for miracle healings, medical mediumship scans, and laying on of hands. Serving together, we can heal people through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's going to be amazing simply by witnessing and helping others to heal. You too can be healed. And we will also have live music by special guest artists. For more information and tickets, log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. To purchase live stream tickets, visit KimberlyMeredithLive.com. Come join us as we celebrate the glory of God. Hi, I'm Kimberly Meredith, host of the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. Please join me at the 2019 Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles at the LAX Hilton on February 22nd through the 25th, where I'll be featured as the keynote speaker. I'll be leading multiple exclusive workshops and lectures. My Saturday free lecture is called Receiving the Miraculous Healings. On Sunday, I have a special keynote lecture with live music called Healing in the God Dimension. I'll then be speaking on a special near-death experience panel. Come to my Monday post-conference to receive your DNA activation. I'll be giving channel teachings about many important topics, including how to protect yourself in a 3D world and how to elevate into the fifth dimensional consciousness where healing occurs and where we can live our best lives and achieve peace on earth. Be sure to visit my booth for special raffles and giveaways. For more information and to purchase tickets, please visit thehealingtrilogy.com. You can also purchase tickets at ConsciousLifeExpo.com. I'll look forward to seeing you at the 2019 Los Angeles Conscious Life Expo. God bless you. Welcome back to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. And we're here with Maria Moreno. Hello. Out there. And uh, Maria's going to talk a little bit about her future and things that she's going to be up to. And uh, all this fun stuff in about five minutes. But we're going to do a couple more um, prayer requests for you guys, we feel like this is important, right, Maria? Yes, it's yeah. very important. We, we 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 really like this right now because we. I know for me, I feel the energy of praying for you right now mm-hmm. is something very important, and um, I I love my life now. My life was totally different before my NDE. I don't know about you. Mine was very different. <laughs> yeah. In basso. Yeah, and for me. It's, it's picked up... Sir, am I supposed to give a question to you? Yeah, I'm just finishing something I'm saying real quick. Uh, for me, my, oh, life, ma'am. Okay. my life was very different before my NDE, um, my near-death experience. And um, now um, it's, it's a total, took on a total different life. Mm-hmm. And uh, even being here right now, I was very unexpected to be on a radio show uh, helping you, you out. So... Whatever you want to ask me, I'm open to answering. Uh, so please, from your heart, ask ask me what you want to ask me right now, Miss. What is your name? You talking to me? Yes, I am. What is your name, please? Okay, hi. My name is Anne. Hi, Anne. What hi, would you Anne. like to ask us? Okay, am I the repository of all that has been good in my family? 
Are you the what? Repository. Re- repository? Am I the holder? Mm-hmm. Are you of the holder the of, of all the good that's happened in your family's life? For eons. Mm-hmm. They're saying no. You're you, you're the you're the person responsible for all the good in your family's life. I was told to ask yes or no questions. Right. So I'm trying to be positive about this. I'm <laughs> okay. The, I, I I'm the one who is the repository of all the genealogy. I'm the one who gets everything done. I'm not not young, and there is turmoil in the family that has nothing to do with me. But because I happen to look, um, and I'm nearing 70, right. I don't look it. I'm spiritually very in tune. I have a gift. But people either deal with what they feel or they don't. And so my question on a positive note, have I been put in position mm-hmm. of being the holder, the keeper? Right. Of not just family secrets, but the good stuff. Because I'm the only one who knows all the good stuff. Yes, I understand. I don't think you need to explain anymore. Um, my mediumship that's coming through is telling me that you are in a high dimension spirituality. Um, you know, you're in the, the higher dimension uh, being used. Um, the reason they said, no, you're not the one that's doing it. You're a holder for the energy of God. God is doing right. it through you. Mm-hmm. So I'm not right. saying that you can't take full credit of being the positive one that's helping the family, the conduit for it. But, um, you know, you, you know, you can't take your third dimensional, I mean, family with you. But you can actually right. set an example for mm-hmm. the third dimensional family to go and connect more to the holy divine God. So I'm just saying that God doesn't like us to take all the credit. God likes no, us don't. to I, 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 understand I, that the you're. The gift I was born with is a generation. Yes, yeah, so I'm gift. just trying to answer your and question. I, you're you're born yes with a gift they're saying, and you're being used as a conduit to help your family, yes. So bless you for being um, a, an open vessel to be used. However, the question is, therefore, I I am at the moment a widow, and I am, in effect, being shunned, not for doing anything wrong, for being good. Right. You're being therefore, shunned. I don't even get to see my grandchildren. Hmm. Even though you're a positive force a, in the family? I happen to be an Orthodox Jewish woman. Very eclectic thinking. <laughs> okay, so all I'm, I'm saying, person. okay, but you're asking more than one question at this moment, uh, sweetheart. So basically, I'd like you to ask for a prayer request at this point because they're giving me a negative blink about that question, uh, about being shunned, because they're saying no, no, no. Um, they're, the guides are saying that they don't feel that you're being shunned. Okay. They don't like that. <laughs> So That's why don't we pray? Know. Why don't we pray about that one? Let's pray about that. I yes. thank you. Yeah, let's pray on that one about you being shunned. They don't like that. No, I don't like it either. Three blinks and confirmed many on that. Just have passed on to the next dimension. Okay, and so let's me, let's pray on that. It would be lovely that. if the grandchildren and I could know each other. Three blinks confirmed on that. So would you? Let's have okay. a prayer for you. Here we go. Or would you like I, to I, receive a prayer? I would. Are I you ready? Believer. Can I, I can I, can I, I please, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to, I'm sorry. Okay. I'd like to have to intervene here and I'm, I'm going to have to move on to the next caller or I'm going to have to ask you a point blank question. Are you ready to receive a prayer in the fifth dimension? Yes. I am. Are you really ready? I am. Okay. Um, I had to ask and see what my eyes said, because my eyes, I, my eye almost said you weren't ready. Are you seriously I ready? I am ready. Are you? I am ready. Okay, so let's say, I accept. You have to repeat after me. I accept. Okay. I accept. The fifth dimension. I couldn't say that. I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm running Android, making it louder. I accept the fifth dimension. 
the fifth dimension. And I forgive. And I forgive. Anybody that has hurt me. Anyone who has hurt me. And please forgive me. And please forgive me. The only thing between me and them. My, the only thing between me and them. Is God. Is God. And take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> I didn't hear you breathe. I did. Okay. Okay. Thank you I for did deep breathing. Good. I want to break that cord between whatever's going on between you and the family. Mm -hmm. And let's say amen. Amen. Okay. I forgive. And amen. And let's just put the energy of God between you and anything that's going on between the family and that you feel any kind of um, responsibility. And let's just say amen for you. Thank you so much. You're a beautiful person. And thank you for calling in. And let's keep you moving forward and being used as a thank beautiful you. vessel with God. Yes. Bless thank you. Bless you. God thank bless you so bless much. You. Thank you. And I hope you see your grandchildren. Yes. Thank you. So let's talk to Maria about what's going to go on exciting in your life and you moving towards your goals and your plans in the fifth dimension. So um, interesting, interestingly enough, I um, went back to painting. I grew up as an artist, um, self-taught at five, five years old. And um, obviously somewhere in between, I kind of let that, you know, let, let that go and um, since the near-death experience, it's brought me all the way back full circle, and I've been just painting um, these amazing yeah. um, portraitures. Um, lately, I've been doing, um, you know, people. Um, but what I really am going to focus on doing is actually become a healer myself because that's something that, um, that I know now that I'm very aware of. Um, and being in this uh, fi fifth dimension, uh, my consciousness, it's like the downloads are coming in. Um, my consciousness is just getting higher and higher, and I've got the need to just heal the world. And um, there's a lot of things out there that um, I can obviously be utilized as God's vessel, and I'm very w aware of that now. So I have a book that I'm um, actually working on right now that's going to talk about my near-death experience and, um, you know, where to go to when uh, Western medicine kind of <laughs> just gives you, you know, a goodbye. And where do you heal your soul? You know, where are the resources? Because um, apparently I've been kind of guided in this path and blindly uh, trusting God 100%. And um, I've been getting in touch with people like Kimberly and a lot of other healers out there and 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 i feel that we're we're in a a time now that you know that needs to happen um and i feel that we are awakening uh, as a humanity um and that's very important because in all reality guys it's it's love it's love that's missing out there everywhere and and um yes, it is People just need, we really need to start getting in touch with ourselves, yep. how to connect to our higher selves, how to always be best example and stop living in this, this 3D mind mentality of, of, of the human race believes of fear. There's no such thing as that. That's, that's an illusion, you know, all, all depression, all of that. Right. Get yourself out. I mean, you know, there's, Thank you, Maria. there's stories like, like myself and others, um, and I hope I could be an example of that and inspire Thanks, everyone. Maria. Thank you. And thank you for listening to the show. And we're happy Maria was here. And you can contact me on my Instagram account. Follow me there on Meredith Kimberly. And my Facebook, which is Kimberly Meredith 11. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next week on the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. Thank you so much, Maria, for being thank with you. us today. And this has been a really great time. Thank you. Thank you. What happened to my brain? And I held on to where you were. At least the ones I think I heard. Yes, I hung on to where you were. And this is what I think I 
KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM.